Yes, what are we expecting to hear from the hearing in London today? Well, I mean, clearly there's a lot of animus toward the bank among lawmakers in London. Uh, there's both a public and a private part of the hearing, so I would expect the, uh, the private part to be uh, a, a probably a bit more exciting. Uh, I would expect that HSBC would defend itself in arguing that it's only following local laws and it's, in essence, in a tough spot itself. It's been forced to close a range of accounts in the city, along with other banks. Uh, sanctions from the U.S., our local officials have also caused other banks to close accounts. So there's pressure coming from both sides. Uh, more broadly, I think the, um, the, uh, the, the hearing will also include, uh, you know, uh, uh, questions on their backing of uh, China's new security law in Hong Kong, which we haven't heard them speak much on. Uh, more broadly, the business community here in Hong Kong has argued, as has the government, that, that the law was necessary to preserve st stability, and it's also compliant with the one country, two system framework that governs the city. But uh, as I said, uh, we haven't heard Noel Quinn speak much about uh, why they decided to support that. Jonas, just quickly, what's at stake for HSBC here? Well, it, I mean, the bank is uh, just about betting the house now on, on its expansion in Asia, and, and China is a very important part of this. So uh, it's very dependent on tensions easing on both sides. Further sanctions from the U.S. and and, and, and more ratcheting up uh, uh, of measures from China would put it in a very difficult spot.